Now, for, now we turn to our Ji Myung Gil at uh, Pengmok Harbor, Pengmok Kang Harbor, that is just 20 kilometers from where the Sewol Hill Ferry capsized now. That is the focal point of search and rescue operations at the moment. Myung Gil, more and more bodies are being retrieved. Uh, we are seeing the death toll rise by the hour, but unfortunately, no change in the number of survivors. You're right, Daniel. The death toll is rising by the hour. The number of total death toll that we have currently is 50, 56. And the rescue team here is trying to identify the bodies. The dozens of bodies have been recovered from the vessel last night. That was when the rescue team here was able to break into the windows to gain access into the cabins. Special tents are set up on the rear sides of the harbor where the DNA samples are taken from family members and the bodies that come in. Once the body's DNA samples are taken, they are directly sent to hospitals. Unfortunately, there was a tragic news this morning. The Navy confirmed that a Navy officer has died yesterday after he hit his head during rescue operations on Wednesday. He fell into coma. Right, very unfortunate. Uh, could you also update us on the rescue efforts so far? We'll need all the manpower and equipment we can muster at this moment, including, of course, Mother Nature's cooperation. Could you give us more details on that? Yes, Daniel. Another two underwater drones will be arriving here at the Pengmokan Harbor on Sunday night, along with two U.S. technical experts to lend support to the ongoing rescue operations. Also, five guidelines, a total of five guidelines, which divers can use to get into the ship, has been attached to the vessel since yesterday night. With the new routes into the ferry secured, the divers can all simultaneously carry out rescue operations. The emergency headquarters here says they have over 500 divers carrying out an all-out rescue and search operations today, along with 204 vessels and 34 aircraft. A side scan sonar has been dispatched to detect any bodies that may drift away from the accident site. The weather is clear down here right now, and the tide is pretty low at just about one meter. So the conditions are improving here for rescue operations. Daniel. Well, an ounce of good news so far is that nature isn't providing roadblocks today. We are all hoping for this continued drought of good news to end soon. Uh, that was our Chi Myung Gil. Myung Gil, thank you for that report. Uh, our Chi Myung Gil reporting live from Pengmokang Harbor near the ferry disaster site.